in this room by a show of hands would like to eliminate 80% of the stress you've been experiencing in your life? Those who didn't raise their hand are probably too stressed out to comprehend the question. <laughs> you got a pile of a million dollars. How many in this room would be willing to spend every last nickel of that million dollars to determine the single most important factor for your success on the job? Me neither. Come on. <laughs> what are you, crazy or something, Andy? Come on. <laughs> Absolutely not. The thing is, we don't have to. In three independent stuff. Stu Harvard University, the Stanford Research Institute, and the Carnegie Foundation each spent over a million dollars over a two and a half year period. They all came up with the same result. It turns out that 85 percent, 85 percent of your success on the job and your chances for future promotion and success are directly related to your people skills and your people wisdom. Information and document processing can put you in a frame of mind that makes you unfit for human interaction. <laughs> Absolutely true, my friends. We don't want to confuse our work with our job. So let's do some multiple choice to get us into the frame of mind here, okay? Multiple choice, A, B, or C, here we go. In order to meet the challenges, successfully meet the challenges that we face and step to the next level of our success in our professional and our personal lives, what we need the most is A, a little more roughage in our diet, B, a professional body massage every Friday afternoon, or C, the ability to activate a larger expression of our inner resource. B, my kind of crowd. All right, all right. How many would be willing to give up their dental coverage if they could get a body massage every Friday afternoon, ladies and gentlemen? There's a benefit package worth thinking about. But of course, we know that the real, uh, basically what we really want to do is we want to activate a larger expression of our inner resource. You know, we spend so much time uh, developing and utilizing our external resource and justifiably so, rightfully so. But if we're really to move to the next level of, of our success as individuals and as a team, we must really dig deeper into who we really are. And I'm talking about the inner resource that shows up as creativity and enthusiasm and creative ideas and innovation. I'm talking about passion. I'm even talking about love on some level, ladies and gentlemen. The good news is that there are men and women of great scientific genius studying rigorously, scientifically studying human behavior, human achievement, and how do we activate fully the larger expression of our inner resource. I have been reading their reports. I have been studying their studies, and I am reporting in. To provide for you now a direct sensory experience of the extraordinary capabilities of the human hand and the human system, I should like to begin by conducting an exercise in sharing. Now, as is commonly and universally the case with sharing, this is going to require a contribution, a donation. Good to see you right here in the front. Did you bring your wallet? I'd like you to take it out, open it up and say, Bodine, help yourself. I need a, uh, I need a $20 bill. I need a, I need a $20 bill. I'll double your money right here, right now. You're going to have a beautiful uh, experience. You're going to have a peak emotional experience. You get that thing out of the, that thing is so fat, he cannot get it out of his pocket. All right, I need a 20. Okay, very good. Now, Eric. 
Eric, my friends, is going to have a beautiful internal, spiritual, emotional experience because this is what happens when you share yourselves and your energy and your wisdom and your equity uh, with each other when we gather together like this. And we're going to facilitate this experience for Eric by actually sharing his equity with the other members of the gathering. Here's a little for you. I'd like you to have a little now. Eric, be honest. Tell the truth. This feels good on the inside, doesn't it? Kind of a warm, kind of a glowing, kind of a new age, kind of a 21st century thing happening for Eric. Don't take your eyes off the four pieces of Eric's $20 bill, for they will never leave your sight, not even for a moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold them down into half, and I'll fold them down into fourths, but they never leave your sight, not even for the fraction of a second. And I give him a little pinch and I give him a little twist. And I'm going to show you in this age of advanced information and technology, although science and logic can give us what it is that we need, it's only magic, my friends, that can truly give us what it is that we want. Hoppa! said to me, so you're a motivational speaker, huh? And I said, well, I don't really uh, use the term. I don't think of myself in those terms. I really think of myself as a behavioral scientist focused on the principles of human achievement and life fulfillment. He says, well, we got a great motivational system down where we work. I said, what's that? He says, it's a big sign on the wall in the employee lounge that says, one mistake and your butt is out of here. <laughs> Works real good, he says. You know, we have misled ourselves in this whole area of personal motivation for many years, a couple of decades actually, by actually thinking of motivation as a thing in and of itself. But the latest studies and the new awareness allow us to come to the understanding and to realize that what we want when we talk about positive, uh, enthusiastic motivation, it is not a thing in and of itself. It is actually a byproduct of the human creative process. So the question isn't, how do I get myself more excited? How do I get myself pumped up? How do I get myself more enthusiasm? How do I open my heart to my life and to my work in a larger sense? That's no longer the question. The question is, what is it in your heart that you truly want to create from this point forward in your life? Regardless of what you've done in the past, regardless of where you are, what is it in your heart that you truly want to create? And how good can you stand it? It's a shift to a focus on the human creative process. Now we can change this shift to a group focus if we want to get to activating the group resource. We just change the pronoun. What do we truly want to create? And how good can we stand it? We now know that everything that we want